it's been 30 years since the release of the movie Call of Paper. This is one of Ron Howard's most underrated films. The film is not better, or I should say in the same level as all the President's Men, Spotlight, or even The Post, but the story is good and it, the, the movie is good in its own way. I mean, let's talk about the cast. We have Michael Keaton, Glenn Close, Randy Quaid, Marissa Tomei, Jason Alexander, Robert Duvall. The list goes on and on and on. It's a solid cast. Michael Keaton, Robert Duvall, Glenn Close, Marissa Tomei, they were all outstanding. Phenomenal acting. One of my favorite scenes is when Randy Quaid, um, he quiets everyone in the office by using his gun and shoot it, shooting up in the air. And he told everyone, basically let Marissa's character, you know, talk to Michael because Marissa Tomei, who's pregnant in the movie, and Michael Keen, their husband and wife. So I felt like that part was funny. Um, one of the funniest scenes um, is the fight scene between Michael Key and Glenn Close. Um, that was hilarious. The way they are constantly going after each other's throats in this movie makes the movie more enjoyable to watch. Any film, any journalism newsroom film, I'm always down to watch because I study journalism in school I never, so far in my career, I haven't worked in a newsroom. I don't know if, I have, if I'm going to or if I want to, but I like watching movies, documentaries, um, TV shows that shows that kind of setting. Michael Keaton's character, um, he is very dedicated and passionate journalist. Him and Marissa Tomei constantly have problems. Um, Marissa Tomei's character, she feels that she's alone in the whole process because Michael Keaton, he is just very obsessed with um, trying to get quotes, trying to get the right headline for the newspaper. He's very, very, very dedicated and obsessed um, in this field. So, um, but he does an amazing job in this movie. So does Robert Duvall. Um, Jason Alexander, seeing him playing a different character outside from Seinfeld was phenomenal. He's um, the villain in this movie. Um, but the, the paper is, is an underrated film. I found out about this film a, a couple of weeks ago. I didn't even know about it until it was recommended me by Amazon Prime. And um, But yeah, it's a very good movie. Like I said, it's one of Ron Howard's most underrated films. He directed this movie. Brian Glazier, he co-produced the movie. Um, but yeah, I like the cinematography. Um, John Seale does a great job. Um, you know, using the tracking shots and movements with the camera. He does an outstanding job. The way he was framing certain shots, I liked it a lot. Um, but what I liked the most out of everything was the performance. The performance was top notch. Robert Duro's character, um, one, um, uh, some of the things about him is that he battles prostate cancer. He has a rocky relationship with his daughter because he was sleeping with reporters and wasn't faithful to his wife. One of the things I wish I could have seen in this movie was a scene with um, Robert Duvall's wife or some kind of redemption or rekindle the relationship between Robert Duvall, Robert Duvall and his daughter. But we didn't get to see that. Um, there are so many things that, that they could have gone, but overall, this is a, a good movie to watch, especially if you love journalism and being in the newsroom. My review for this movie from 1 through 5, I'll give it a 4.1 out of 5 stars. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit that thumbs up. 
Hit that subscribe button if you want to. <laughs> and as always, be safe and may God bless you all.